This is Daily Blast Live. We're talking about what you're talking about. Get real. No. No. Nope. This just is stop. a sham. It's finally here. Drum roll. Welcome to DBL. Happy Monday, everybody. Did yes. you all have a good weekend? Did you? I was about to say, it was about our weekend. I did. <laughs> I had a great weekend with the fam in Mexico. So yes. Good family vacation. We went with a bunch of uh, different groups of people, a lot of kids there, but first time the kids out of the country. Nice. And they had a great time. Do they have little That's passports? Awesome. Little passports? <laughs> they're, they're the same size as same everybody size? else. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it was great. They loved it. The people down, we were in Cabo specifically, and the, just the people down there, the they love it the joy mm -hmm. I don't know just it's great for the kids to see I love Mexico yeah. Yeah. so oh. great so yes. great Food so jealous great. so great. jelly oh. now I need a vacation from my vacation yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean all right let's get to it guys Hollywood is reacting to President Biden's announcement that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race did I miss that over the weekend mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah no I saw it I saw it. Barbara Streisand said Joe will go down in history for his significant achievements and for upholding democracy Robert De Niro thanked the president for his selfless patriotism. John Legend thanked Biden for his grace and patriotism and said he was excited to help Kamala Harris get elected. Cheryl Lee Ralph, friend of the show, also supported Kamala, writing, quote, to anyone who was ever raised by a strong black woman, you know that we're all going to be more than okay. I love, I love Cheryl. Yes. Ah. Jamie Lee Curtis called Kamala trusted, tested, and tough. Cardi B reposted a video from June 30th when she called for Kamala to be the 2024 presidential candidate and wrote, I told y'all. Lizzo simply wrote, we are truly living in unprecedented times. Mm. So, a uh, very diverse group of opinions there. Yeah. <laughs> but how are you guys feeling over the, well, this just happened yesterday, right? Right. Yeah. So, how are you guys feeling today? Um, I have never been, I remember when Obama ran for office and that was something that I was very, just, focused on um, and we had access to him at that time in terms of like interviews and stuff so I felt like I was a part of something I haven't felt like I've been a part of something in a very long time and I tell you within the hour that this announcement was made I became very much a part of a lot um, in a very short period of time it made me feel like I was always going to vote but it made me feel like there is a part of us that has the the option to be the change that we want to see. You know, I, I was just going to say, Erica, you have really summed up, I think, the, the subconscious mind of the voter and what these two parties are really trying to do when they go after a voter. The idea of saying, vote against Trump, he's terrible, isn't motivating. It isn't. It doesn't cause me to feel connection with you. It's just like, I don't know, this one movie, we both don't like Trump, so fine. When Trump voters get together at their rallies, regardless of what you think about them, regardless of what their politics are, they are interconnected and they feel like they're fighting for something. They feel like they are losing something and I am a warrior for this. And whether it's right or wrong, doesn't matter. That driving force is what gets people out and rallied and crazy and frenzied. And that's why they look so jazzed up at their things and the Democrats are just like, we just hope Biden didn't trip. You know, there's a different mentality. And with Kamala coming on, if she can infuse the Democratic Party with some of that same juice, with some of that, I'm excited to fight for something, not just vote against something, I think it could be a really uh, big motivator. That's the entire strategy of the DNC at this point. What you just said, what you just said, there was no way you were gonna get people who are kind of on the fence to get off their couch to vote for Joe Biden after that debate. No way, you saw it, I saw it, it wasn't motivating. It wasn't going to work. The second this happened, people were texting me. I'm kind of excited. People were donating $15, $20. George Clooney started this domino effect. He's sort of the head Democrat with Katzenberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, up there in Hollywood. Once he hit that down, other people felt comfortable doing that. And that's why he did it. He took the hit and he went down. And now people see Kamala, to be honest, as a prosecutor versus the felon. Mm. There's a whole 
different vibe of there's an adult in the room who is going to take on the charge. So I'm looking forward to it. I think Hollywood's behind her. And I'm also motivated by the change that the Democratic Party can actually be how we look in America. That's a pretty awesome thing to be. I, I will say when you brought up the debate and how people, you know, had all of these reasons, well, debates aren't the actual election, whatever. I think that Trump skirts every debate against Kamala. He has to. He already said he would. He said he yeah. wants to go to Fox now, not ABC. Yeah. Then he rolled that back. So, no, he's scared. There's, there's, there's scared. There's no, yeah. there is legitimately he's no scared. way. Yeah. I don't care what, what we're talking about. Yeah. You put these two people in a room yeah. and have them talk about anything. Yeah, he crumbled. Never less debate. Right. It just, it, I, it's not going to She made Brett happen. Kavanaugh she needs cry it. during her questioning of him during all of that, during the Supreme Court justice situation. She can take him down. So I think people are excited about that, too. All right. Well, speaking of America, the Paris Olympics are going to start later this week, and we have some news from Team USA. Cavs. There we go. First, LeBron James will carry the American flag during the opening ceremonies on Friday. He's a four-time Olympian and will be going for his third gold medal. LeBron said it was an honor. He's the first men's basketball player to ever carry the flag. Surprising. Mm. Meantime, Simone Biles shared this photo on her on her Instagram with her teammates in their uniforms after landing in Paris. Look how cool they look. You think this will help <laughs> unify the country a little bit? Yes. I, Olympics? I, yeah, the Olympics. Yes. Yeah, I think it definitely, um, if you're going out in diversity of spaces, people are talking about like things like Sprint, the, um, so good. Netflix, oh, yeah, the yeah. Netflix documentary? The Simone Biles the phone documentary. Company. Yeah, yeah, there's... <laughs> I'm more of a Nextel guy. <laughs> yes. No, uh, yeah, the Netflix documentary. People are talking about all of the things surrounding mm -hmm. the stories of the Olympics. So that's exciting. Do you think we'll get... So LeBron's carrying a flag, and there's also a woman a woman that's going to be yeah. carrying a flag for the opening ceremonies. Do you have any guesses of who that might be? Because I'm guessing someone from Sprint. That's what I'm guessing. Shakari Richards? Yeah, that's what I'm I guessing. I think it has to be ladies. Simone. I think it might be Simone. Wouldn't it be too. Biles? When that's Simone actually Biles a good point. And LeBron, I'd be like, yo. I'd be like, wah! You know? I'm, honestly, <laughs> I would, but I, I, we're talking about the Olympics. The and it's the first time in a long time that Olympians are kind of recognizable. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I've been following sure. these people because even Shakari Richardson's, I won't even call it a controversy, the persecution that she may have smoked marijuana some years ago, that galvanized a lot of people around her to say, I like the fight she had. She didn't back down. She, uh, she came clean. And now to see this, to see her heading into Paris, people are excited for her. That Simone Biles, Maybe the, one of the most recognizable people on the planet. Mind you, she's also done a ton of work with mental health and seems just like relatable and has pulled a lot of young women in uh, that will never do a triple balance beam flip. No, and a true, but and a true can leader. Relate to her. Right, yeah. and true leader. I mean, she leads that team beautifully. She stood up to people during the sexual abuse claims. I mean, she really has led that team. So right. that'd be a great American team. Yeah. Who's the Tonga guy? I think guy? you're right. I think you're right, though. Yeah. That it might be Simone. I think so. Yeah. But right. I just thought with the popular, I'm watching Sprint, so See, I get easily yeah. influenced when I start watching yeah. like documentaries. Yeah. 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 Steer you in a certain way. Yeah. For sure. Like when you watch Hard Knocks, a show about football on HBO, and then you have your fantasy football draft, like, I just take everybody from Hard Knocks <laughs> <laughs> because I now I have a better idea. You're invested. Right. You know their yeah. story. That's yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it makes it's you important. relatable. His, just uh, like Sprint. Lyles? The Lyles guy, yeah. his, whose mother was also a sprinter. I was like, who is this oh, yeah. guy? And I was like, he's so cocky. I'm like, he's the champion, and he just knows he's a champion. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just don't lose. <laughs> I, yeah. saw, I, saw, I saw a T-shirt once that said, it's not bragging if you can do it. Right. Mm -hmm. and it's like, all right, it's kind of true. Medal, you could do whatever you That's want. Right. Yes. Any kind of medal, you could do whatever you want. Coming up on DBL, Dr. Yoon is here to talk about viral skincare regimens. Do they actually work? And remember Ashley Simpson's infamous SNL moment? I want to take a peek here. <laughs> I haven't seen in a while how she's celebrating the 20th anniversary of her autobiography album.
Welcome back to DBL. Is Ashley Simpson returning to music? Well, Jessica Simpson praised her sister for a recent performance at a club in LA. In the clips from TikTok, Ashley was seen performing her hits like Lala and Pieces of Me. Jessica even teased that they should tour together with their kids. Ashley's music uh, actually, his music career came to a halt right here, if you see, in 2004 after her infamous performance on SNL when her backing track for the wrong song came up. She did this awkward jigging, then just kind of scurried off the stage. It's weird how that could derail your career. That's what I was I know. thinking. But if you just say Hawk 2, you get skyrocketed. <laughs> oh so, uh, well, that's many English. years later. It's, it's really true, later. though. You know what like, I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. the Howard Dean Cash effect. me outside, right, you're a that millionaire. Girl, right. But if you do the yeah. jig on stage it's... for SNL, your career's Like, over? you're punished. It's like, weird. Like, you've hurt someone. We were like, never again shall she be seen. I don't know why. It was like when Howard Dean went, ah. Oh, and we're like, leave forever. Right. Why? And he was really, he was at a rally trying to get his people together. And he made a noise. But if you think about it, when you look at it, and I was having that same thought, it's almost nothing. But there was no YouTube or anything else to distract our attention. So you would see that clip yeah. over and over and all the blog sites would be like, oh, look how, so like, in your mind, it was built up to be a lot more in 2009, where oh, it's like, yeah. this wouldn't this wouldn't get yeah. 100 views no, on TikTok now. But you know, also, you have to remember, 20 years ago, then there were only a handful of voices. Those voices dictated your everything. Yeah. Now, it would have been a debate on social media with millions of people weighing in, and there would have been a contingency of people that banded together as Team Ashley. For sure. But back then, you didn't have the benefit of that because if one person who had the biggest microphone made the judgment on over. you, then other people just followed suit because you weren't hearing any diversity of opinion. Yeah, could, could you, just could you make the argument based on what Erica's saying that this could have actually helped her career? Yeah. Yeah, because who hasn't lip synced on uh, SNL? Right. Who hasn't been in that position? Yeah, you could only have backed her up like that. Yeah, I think the team, Ashley, I could see that like kind of galvanizing because what you need is that solid base. Just like Trump has a base that doesn't move. When you got that base of we're team, Ashley, I don't care what you're talking about. Like from there, you can really expand and like sell tickets. I mean, this could have helped her. It's just yeah. timing's everything. Mariah Carey had some bunch of flubs, yeah. right, where she right. wasn't performing yeah. live. She's not taken down. Yeah, right. no, because Mariah she Carey got has our, the lambs, and the lambs love Mariah. Is that what they're called, lambs? Yes. Wait, Are you lambs? a lamb? Lambda, lambda, lambda. I'm, I'm a Mariah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that, <laughs> Wait, why are they called house? lambs? It's her lambs. I don't, don't, I don't ask questions. I don't know the, I'm sorry. Like the, I didn't know they're the called like, of the like the Taylor army. Swift. You're a Swifty. Like Rihanna. She has had lambs. Arm, correct. I never heard her that. Her lambs. Either. That's her fans. Why? I d Mar Mary, Mary had a little lamb. That doesn't that, that doesn't help at all. Sense. Yeah. Erica, if you're going to be a lamb, you need to know the point of origin. I didn't say I was a lamb. I'm a fan. Are you, maybe you're a fan she, of lambs? Maybe because she's bad. I'm a fan of Mariah and her lambs. But you're not a lamb. Well, I didn't know what a lamb was, so say I can't call myself. Say it on television myself. now. Are you a lamb or not? I can't call myself a lamb because I didn't know why they're called lambs. I can call myself a fan. You know what? I'm, I'm over Mariah Carey now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. No one is ever I'm out. We do Coming up by DBL, <laughs> our favorite holistic plastic surgeon, Dr. Yoon, is here to talk all about the weirdest beauty trends from a salmon DNA facial. Oh. I don't even know what that you is. You don't want to know, Jeff. Frozen cucumbers on your face. I always wanted to know about that. And Richard Simmons' team reveals his final photo and message to fans.
Welcome back. When you're scrolling social media, do you ever catch yourself wondering if painful looking treatments and viral skincare regimens actually work? Well, earlier, Dr. Yoon joined us to talk about some of these, and they're kind of gross. Take a look. Dr. Yoon, we love you. And Thank you so much. All right, let's talk about this. It's always great to have you here, but let's get right to it oh, because MTV star Steve-O made headlines when he said he's getting surgery done for a really odd reason. I want you to watch this. I came up with the idea a few years ago um, to get a boob job. I've just been so particularly in love with that idea because the the comedy, the opportunity for comedy, I believe, is absolutely yes. there. Okay, Dr. Yu. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Is it okay to get surgery for comedy reasons? And is it funny? <laughs> yeah. I think the problem with, he was talking about getting implants. Yes. And this is a big operation right. with the risk of bleeding and complications. And once you stretch that tissue out, it doesn't necessarily come back. He's talking about keeping them in for two months. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean if he wants to do a little injections for comedy, I know, okay, but man, I mean, implants, that's crazy. That's just not a good idea. I think it's a Steve no, not a Steve-o. <laughs> 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 we have to let her get that in. Yeah. Um, so another celebrity who recently made headlines is Kim Kardashian. She shared that she had a salmon DNA facial that has been backed by Jennifer Aniston as well. So tell us about this facial. Does it work? So this actually is very popular in Korea. It's called Rejuron, and it is salmon DNA. And there are actual studies that have been performed that shows that it can help improve the collagen and the elastin in your skin. It's technically what we call a biostimulator. The issue with this, though, is it's not FDA approved. So you cannot have it done in the U.S. You have to go overseas oh. for it. I hear through the grapevine there's some clinics who are doing it, but I think it's illegal because it's not FDA approved. So unfortunately, you really should go overseas if you want to try it. Do you have it. to be put under? Why did she, she have probably like had oxygen? That, that noxious gas that makes that laughing oh, gas. Oh, you know what I mean? Scary. Yep, that's laughing gas. Yeah. Oh. All right, Doc. Now I got to warn our viewers because this next video that we're going to watch is, I guess, hard to look at. So here it is. Uh, but you reacted to this on your Instagram. What <gasps> is going on with this oh woman's my gosh. face? God. No. Please Dr. explain you. to us right now. So this is called a phenol peel, and this is the deepest of the chemical peels that we do. Uh, it's been around for decades. Uh, it really can help, as you can see, reduce wrinkles. What? It really is very effective for acne scarring. The problem with it is, is phenol is a poison, and you have to literally peel about a fourth of the face at Whoa. a time. If you do too much at one time, you could get a fatal arrhythmia, oh, uh, my gosh. Which is an abnormal heartbeat, and you can technically die from it. Whoa. Oh, her People, face looked good. She did look beautiful. <laughs> She did. But then you have no wrinkles, but yeah, you could die. Yeah, exactly. Fair. <laughs> okay, so let's keep talking about the face because people on TikTok are rubbing frozen cucumbers on their faces in place of ice rollers. So I've seen like even like the slices over the eyes. Do frozen cucumbers belong in a skincare routine? Do they work? They're kind of an eh, you know, yeah. it's like there's that old thing of where you put the cucumbers over your eyes at the end of a long day of work. I mean, it's basically just the cold, the cold temperature can help reduce swelling. Um, it's a little bit anti-inflammatory, but there's really no big difference between that and ice rolling or any other type of kind of cold compresses that you can put on your face. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to, you can, but it's not going to do a whole lot, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a feeling. Just ice, guys. All right, another thing trending on TikTok right now are wrinkle patches. I think like the frownies, like that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I tried that for my 11s. Did it work? I went to Botox. What are 11s? <laughs> uh, sorry, when you go like this, some she people can't have two do lines. it because she has Botox. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there are two things with these. Uh, basically, they act to splint wrinkles. Uh, if you wear them overnight, especially if they got silicone, then they can be hydrating to your skin. But the big thing really is you want to essentially train your, your face not to create these lines. There is truth to it, but yeah, Botox is definitely a lot easier. Yeah, I remember Kim Kardashian famously saying, I don't smile a lot because I don't want the wrinkles. And I thought, what, what? a sad what a boring life. life. My gosh. Yeah, and that's why I, mean, I love Jim Carrey, but I have a feeling, give him another 10 years, and yeah, a lot of wrinkles. <laughs> oh. He's smoking. All right, Dr. <laughs> Yoon, always great having you on DBL. To our viewers, make sure to follow Dr. Yoon on all his social media platforms. Thank you again, Dr. Yoon. We'll be right back. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.
Welcome back to DBL. Richard Simmons was laid to rest on Friday in a private funeral surrounded by family and close friends. Meantime, his team shared this photo or post and photo of Richard's, I should say. He has plan he had planned to send it out. He's wearing a NASA spacesuit there. That's him, huh? And wrote, let me fly me to the moon so we can gaze among the stars. Love Richard. This is the first photo of Richard we have seen in years. Mm. Wow. Okay, so I mean, I guess it, it, it didn't Is that a wig? Maybe, Is that great? It, like I don't know if it matters. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. that Richard was a person that was uh, very focused on how he appeared. I think he felt a lot of pressure because he, he unknowingly became the face of a weight loss movement and inspiration for so many people that he was very conscious of how he looked. And I think there's a reason that we haven't seen a lot of photos yeah. of him. And so, however, he wanted he wanted to check out. Yeah. Uh, you know, good luck in the stars. He's up there swirling. So he he did a lot of good. And like you say, Tor, I'm glad that he at least caught a little bit of that love. Yeah, especially because it was his birthday the the day before. So he was able to accept, receive. What a gift! What a gift to be able to receive that on your. It's almost music. not eerie. That's yeah, not I know. The right word, but you know what I mean. Yeah, kind there's of going questions. Up and yeah. Like, heaven and space. I don't know. I, know. I, I, I That's what I thought immediately. It's almost like a foreshadow in a weird sort of way yeah and I know their question still because he did fall and then he didn't get receive medical treatment so they're still looking into it but yeah yeah well rest we in wish peace it kind of got overshadowed by everything going yeah. on yes. the last couple days DBL's new every day we'll see you tomorrow same time same place